What does it all mean? Glenn Gerstel is the former general counsel of the National Security Agency. Glenn, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. Uh, appreciate it, sir, your expertise. I have lots of questions here, but let's start with this. What's the exposure right now for the federal government? It's hard to say exactly what that level of exposure is, but certainly uh, the federal government is very heavily reliant on Microsoft Windows. Uh, Microsoft Windows is the dominant uh, source of operating uh, systems for computers around the world. About 70% of every desktop computer around the world, almost three out of every four, runs on Windows software, and that was what was vulnerable here. Uh, how, how reliant the federal government is on CrowdStrike, whose update caused this problem in Windows operating system, isn't totally clear, but it's very obvious that a significant portion of the federal government does use CrowdStrike mm. uh, to help protect their computer systems. So, you know, I, I think of, Glenn, too big to fail, right? We talked about the banks and the financial crisis, the auto industry, when, when that was on the brink, the airlines during COVID. Our lives are lived and run on the cloud, and all these major companies worth tens of billions of dollars that sort of work into the whole system. Is this the new too big to fail? This certainly highlights uh, just how we've let vulnerabilities creep into the system, and one of those big vulnerabilities is concentration. As I already said, Windows operates three out of every uh, four desktop computers, uh, and CrowdStrike uh, has about th roughly 30,000 customers around the world, and they supply cybersecurity services to uh, roughly 300 out of the Fortune 500. That's global companies. Hmm. So no wonder yeah. when there's a mishap at, at CrowdStrike, it affects, the, uh, it affects the globe. This may well turn out to be, in terms of the actual impact on personal and commercial lives, the biggest cyber and computer incident ever. Not that it affected that wow. many computers, but in terms of the out impact on people's lives. So if it's the biggest, it could be the biggest ever, the impact on people's lives, and 60% and of the Fortune 500 uses it, I got to imagine there's business owners all across the country that say, wait a minute, I, I get billed for that thing every month. Uh, I, I use it. If that's the case, what's, what, do, what do they do next? So, you know, one of the things that's going to come out of this crisis uh, is a call for more regulation, more liability. We've already heard sounds from members of Congress about it. Um, ultimately, this is not going to be an individual's problem. This is going to be a system problem. We've built the mm. Internet on a very fragile base, and we're paying the price for years of underinvestment in the reliance and defense side of things, whereas we've spent 20 years making sure we had every possible benefit, everything digitized that we possibly could mm. have, uh, everything computerized, and we're now recognizing the vulnerabilities of that approach. All right, Glenn Garstel, formerly with the NSA. Appreciate the time, appreciate the perspective, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. All right. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.